Hi, this is Wembo. This video is for our paper, Deformable Linear Object Prediction Using Locally Linear Latent Dynamics. It's a joint work with Carl, Professor Chaudhary, and Professor Danielidis. Deformable object manipulation is one of the most important robotic manipulation problems. The prediction of deformed objects is critical to give us the future states of the object, and we can plan an action to manipulate the object accordingly. Deformable object manipulation is still a challenging task due to the following reasons. In this paper, we focus on the first two problems, including infinite dimensional configuration spaces and nonlinear dynamics. In this paper, we investigate the problem on how to predict the future states of a rope and how to find optimal control actions. First, prediction problem. We attempt to solve this problem by encoding the high dimensional state X into latent state G in the red line and encode action U to a latent action A in the orange line. Then we apply the local linear dynamics in the latent space using state matrix K and control matrix L in the blue line. Finally, we decode the latent state G to a predicted state X hat. So this is a full diagram for the prediction framework. Equations can be found in the paper. Then we'll talk about breaking down prediction framework in four steps. Step one, we do color space segmentation to get a binary mask from the rope image. Then we encode state into latent state using CNN based network and encode action into latent action. Step two, we use a dynamics model to get the state matrix K and the control matrix L from state and the action. Step three, we use locally linear latent dynamics to get the predicted next latent state, G pred T plus one. Step four, we use a decoder to decode the predicted next latent state into predicted next state. Here are the results. We compare it with the ground truth E2C and E2C++. Then we come to the control problem. We visualize how our sampling-based optimization algorithm works, given state's prediction model and a uniform distribution queue. We first sample M action sequences from this initial distribution. Then we calculate and sort the loss between the predicted images and the goal image. After that, we select N action sequences with the lowest loss and get the mean and the covariance of these action sequences. We fit a multivariate normal distribution to the mean and the covariance and get a new distribution queue. Then we sample from this new distribution queue and iterate the same process again until the new distribution queue converges. Finally, we select the best action sequence with the lowest loss. We provide the control results above. By comparing CEM with GT, we find the sampled action is similar to the GT action and the predicted state is similar to the GT state. By looking at the table, our method can provide less MSE for state and action than E2C++. Thanks for listening.